12 Strange Signs That You Have Low Levels of Oxygen in Your Blood This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any unusual symptoms. 1. Morning Headaches Waking up with a dull or throbbing headache in the morning is a sign of low oxygen levels. This is common in people who snore or have sleep apnea because they breathe strangely at night and don't take in enough oxygen. This causes blood pressure to rise to bring oxygen to the brain, triggering a headache. 2. Air Hunger If you find yourself craving more air or you're sighing frequently through the day, gently gasping with small puffs of air, this usually happens when the blood has become too acidic which stops oxygen from moving freely. Eating too much sugar or low vitamin E often causes this and I'll talk how you can raise your oxygen levels easily later in the video. 3. Chewing Ice Another strange sign of low oxygen levels is a tendency to chew on ice cubes. This craving or compulsion is common in people who are anemic, which means that they don't have enough iron in their blood to carry oxygen properly. It's very common in vegans, vegetarians and people on a plant-based diet. Sign 4 is Heavy Legs Your muscles need lots of oxygen from your blood so that they can make energy and work properly. Low oxygen levels causes your muscles to become weaker, especially the larger muscles of the legs. You may notice your thighs and calves becoming very heavy when you climb up stairs or walk up a slight hill. Vitamin C or E deficiencies usually cause this particular problem. 5. Club Nails Take a look at your fingernails or toenails. If they appear swollen, widened or the fingertips have bulged out or the nails have a spongy texture which feels like they're floating rather than attached, this is what we call clubbing of the nail and is caused by severely low oxygen levels in the blood. This often happens to people with lung, heart or liver damage, so speak with your doctor at the first sign of this. 6. Swollen Smooth Tongue Your tongue is constantly growing and renewing its cells with the help of vitamin B12 and oxygen. However, if you have low oxygen levels or a B12 deficiency, your tongue may become swollen and smooth. Without enough oxygen, the tongue cells can't regenerate properly, leading to a glossy, red or a swollen appearance. This is caused by anemia and low blood oxygen and can usually be fixed by simply eating more red meat. Number 7 is Emotional Numbness If you feel low, apathetic and disconnected from the things that once made you happy, this could also be a sign of low oxygen levels in your brain. Without enough oxygen, your brain struggles to make mood-regulating chemicals like serotonin and this causes emotional numbness and that sense of depressed detachment. Getting more exercise, taking vitamin D3 and getting more sleep can help to lift you out of a depression. 8. Constant Yawning Constantly yawning throughout the day, even when you've had lots of sleep, means that your cells aren't making enough ATP energy, leaving you feeling tired. This is also like a reflex that your body does to try and take in more oxygen. It commonly happens in people with a vitamin B1 deficiency because B1 is needed to convert the oxygen into energy. You can very easily correct this by getting more B1 from things like sunflower seeds, mussels, pork or garlic. 9. Dizziness and Weakness Feeling dizzy or faint when you stand up could also be a sign of low oxygen levels. With the limited oxygen, your blood pressure may drop, which reduces blood flow to the brain. This causes a sudden, lightheaded sensation as your body struggles to adjust. Low oxygen also makes it harder for your brain to maintain balance and sometimes blackouts, especially in the peripheral sides of your vision. 10. A fast heartbeat an average healthy person has a heart rate of between 60 to 100 beats per minute. You can count these easily by placing two fingers on the artery that's on the inside of your wrist. If your heart rate is higher than this when you're resting 
or perhaps you hear your heartbeat when you're lying down in bed, this could indicate that you have low levels of oxygen in your blood, so your heart is working harder to pump additional blood through your body. Leading me on to number 11, chest tightness. With low oxygen levels, your heart has to work harder to pump blood. This can create a squeezing, heavy or a tight sensation in your chest. Low oxygen may also cause the heart muscle itself to cramp. Increasing your electrolytes, vitamin E and B vitamins can all help to improve oxygenation. However, it is very important to consult with your doctor if you're experiencing chest tightness. And sign number 12 is blue fingers or lips. When oxygen levels are low, blood becomes darker, giving a blue colour to your extremities. This can cause your fingers, lips or your nail beds to get a bluish tint. This can also indicate poor circulation and possible nerve damage. It often happens to people who have heart problems, lung disease or anemia. Testing oxygen levels. A simple pulse oximeter can be clipped onto your finger to check the saturation level of the oxygen in your blood. A normal reading is around 95 to 100%, but if it's below this, especially below 92, then it's very likely you have a problem. For a better picture on if oxygen is reaching your organs and your tissues, your doctor can do an ABG or a CBC blood test. However, noticing these signs and symptoms early can make it easier to fix any problems before they become dangerous. So let's take a look at why you may be low in oxygen in the first place. There are many reasons that oxygen isn't being delivered properly to your tissues from your blood. Obviously, underlying health conditions like lung disease, asthma or heart disease cannot be ruled out, but for most people, it's caused by simple lifestyle habits that can be fixed. For example, if your breathing stops and starts abnormally when you're asleep or you're snoring, you won't take in as much oxygen into your blood during the night. Dehydration can thicken your blood as well and make it harder to carry oxygen when you're not drinking enough water. You could also have poor circulation because you simply don't exercise enough outside where there's lots of oxygen. Anemia is a very common problem where you lack nutrients like B12 and heme iron, which are both needed to make red blood cells to carry the oxygen through your body. When you're stressed out, the pH of your blood can become too acidic, so it can't deliver oxygen as well to your tissues. Emotional stress also instinctually causes us to take shorter breaths, so you take in less oxygen through the air through your lungs. Eating too much sugar and processed carbohydrates also causes the blood to become too acidic, which blocks oxygen delivery. And smoking and vaping restricts the blood vessels causing poor circulation and it depletes antioxidants that are needed to keep your oxygen levels in check. With that being said, let's take a look now at how to naturally boost your oxygen levels. Breathing exercise. Practice doing slow, deep belly breathing for 5 minutes 3 times per day. This very simple method opens your airways and naturally increases the oxygen in your blood for free. Mineral water. Begin at once by drinking 2 litres of mineral water every day to help your blood carry and absorb oxygen better. Iron and B12. Eat an 8 ounce serving of beef steak 3 times per week to boost heme iron and vitamin B12 levels. These absolutely essential nutrients build haemoglobin, which is your oxygen transporter in the blood, and this will naturally combat anemia. Improve sleep. If you do snore or you have sleep apnea, consider using a wedge pillow to keep your airways open while you sleep. CPAP machine. You might also consider using a CPAP machine, which helps to open your airways with gentle, continuous air pressure at night. This device is very good because it helps your lungs take in more oxygen, which enriches your blood. Vitamin D3. Expose your skin to sunlight for 40 minutes a day to raise vitamin D levels. 
This supports healthy blood vessels, reduces inflammation and improves blood flow. Alternatively, you can take 10,000 international units of vitamin D3 daily, particularly in the winter when there's less sunlight. Correct your diet. Cut back on sugary and high carb foods like fruit juices, soda, cereals, sweets, grains, etc. Instead, you want to focus on eating mineral rich foods like sunflower seeds, oily fish, meat, salads, and vegetables. Daily walks. Take a gentle outdoor walk for at least 20 minutes daily to increase oxygen intake and improve circulation. Walking in green areas like a park with trees would be ideal because it provides cleaner, oxygen rich air. Morning minerals. I also suggest mashing 3 tablespoons of mixed berries, a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt and mixing it with 16 ounces of carbonated mineral water. The berries add antioxidants and the minerals support oxygen absorption into your cells. Cold shower. Take a cold shower for a few minutes every day to dramatically boost blood oxygen. This is called cold shock therapy and it rapidly improves circulation, reduces emotional stress and improves breathing. Summary. Low oxygen levels can damage your organs, tissues, muscles and cells over time. That's why it's essential to recognize the signals that your body may be giving, like those that we discussed today. You can boost oxygen naturally through exercise, stress management, natural remedies and dietary changes. However, it is very important to speak with your doctor if you suspect any underlying health issues. Many people who have oxygen problems are also deficient in potassium and if you think that this could be your issue, watch the video on the screen now for more information. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.